some of y'all, some of y'all been r- random pickup games, and then Kyrie show up. Ooh. Like, <laughs> Ooh. Hey, look, I see a professional athlete step on a basketball court. I'm not about to see where I measure up. I'm good. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, just make sure your lady not there. If you make sure your lady not there, if you do that, you know whose lady is there. If you on the court, regular guy, his. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you there for a reason. <laughs> this ain't your homecoming game. This is, which brings us back to the Taylor Swift. That's how the Bears should have known that they was cooked. The Bears should have known they was cooked the second Travis Kelsey sent the invite to Taylor Swift. How good, uh, how confident do you have to be in the type of game you're going to play, Cole, to be like, hey, Beyonce, come check me out. Come, come, oh, gotta, come check me out. Gotta be a hundred. Gotta be a hundred. <laughs> Dog, I he gotta picked, be on Ohio State and I gotta be playing Mountain Union. <laughs> like, he picked the perfect game for her to come. He's like, oh, we playing the Bears? Bet. Mm. All I need to know. Mm-hmm. All I need to know. Mm-hmm. I'm getting at least one. <laughs> see, if he was playing the 49ers, he'd be like, ah, no, you can stay. You ain't gotta come through. You ain't gotta fuck you, you ain't gotta come see us. You ain't gotta come see us. Uh, no, no, no. If she was coming to the 49ers game, hey, um, let's be low-key about this. You know, everybody don't got no. But they put the word out. <laughs> okay. That's what I knew it was cooked. It wasn't that she was coming to the game, Cole. It's that he put it on the podcast that she was coming to the game. All right? Like, he knew it was about to be an ass with it. <laughs> that's, that's spectacular. All right. That's the word for it. Spectacular. Yeah, hey, look, that's spectacular. Advice for you. If you're ever doing anything athletic, and the other team got a bunch of girls at the game. Leave. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Leave. They know something you don't. You're not Appalachian State. You're not about to pull no upset. You're not about to. This ain't, this ain't no Disney movie. This it's ain't the real Mighty life. Ducks. This, this is real, real life. life. <laughs> they about to destroy your shit. Okay? <laughs> if you boxing. And you see all of his family and like all of his girlfriends at the ring. Leave. <laughs> okay. He invited girlfriend one, two, three, and the baby mamas to this boxing match. He about to whip your ass. Leave. <laughs> if you are at the wreck and you see. Before this team hops on, they got five or six of what looks like to be personal water girls next to their bags, sitting there in hoodies, okay? (laughs) You need to leave. (laughs) That's not just a girl. That's they girl. They about to destroy you, dog. (laughs) <laughs> they about to, and they know they about to destroy you because ain't no reason to do basically he said Taylor Swift come see me whip some ass on this date you not about to put the date on something you think could go left no he put it on the date because he know I'm about to be out here by halftime get my smell good on by the third quarter and be dressed by the fourth and we about to go to dinner afterwards reservations at 7 game end at 7.30 like that's what we on right now <laughs> that's what we on <laughs> oh lord how do we work Taylor? we work Taylor Swift in the two videos though <laughs> <laughs> Need to get these. Need to get these viewers. <laughs> I, do, I don't think people understand. Look, man, because I think some people was looking at it like, I'll listen to Taylor Swift. Why would I care? Here's why you care, dog. Because this is what he did. Travis Kelsey. He grew up around us. All right, like <laughs> he running the same plays we running. All right, <laughs> the playbook. The playbook. The playbook. I've seen these plays, <laughs> and I'm telling you. Person at home, you see this play getting ran on you, you not about to blow it up. Get out of there, dog. <laughs> okay? Don't be the hero. You ain't got to warn nobody. Save yourself. Call in sick. Get COVID. Do what you got to do. You can't be there. Okay? 
<laughs> you can't. If you see that a team, a ranked high school team is about to play you, and then you see that the quarterback of that team, who's the best player of that team, is having a birthday celebration shortly after at a club that lets 18-year-olds in. Don't go to that game. <laughs> Coach, I can't play. <laughs> because young Cam Newton about to dice your shit up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he about to go to his first strip club. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> you are about to be a part of the best day of that man's life. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> don't do it. You ain't got to participate. You ain't got to participate. <laughs> a part of the best day of this man's life. You don't ever want to be the best. <laughs> <laughs> You want to be a highlight. <laughs> you don't ever want to be a part of somebody's best day when you ain't on the same side. Look, look, Reggie Bush's best day of his life is when he did that shit to San Diego State. It stopped and then threw a motherfucker and then ran for 50 more yards to score a touchdown. You know whose best day that's not? That man who had a Division One football career and that's all that's left of it. Like... He should have just not showed up. (laughs) You ain't got to show up for that. Why? Because I'm on the team? Get out of here, dog. (laughs) You ain't ever got to be a part of somebody's best day if you ain't they homie. (laughs) Sean Payton. Okay. What happened? He was a part of somebody's best day. Okay, I, Mike, I, Day, I Mike McDaniels had the best day of his life and Sean Payton was a passenger. <laughs> hey, remember what Sean Payton said about Nathaniel Hackett before the season? Mm. Life, <laughs> life comes at you fast. Comes at you fast, brother. Comes at you fast. Hey, keep, people's, keep people's names out your mouth, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look. Stop hating. Hey, you take nothing away. If you don't take nothing away from this show, take this away. Stop all that hate, man. And that's what I'm saying. See, what keeps you, what keeps you staying there? You know, you know y'all about to get your ass whipped, but you staying there because you want to ruin somebody's best day of their life because you hating. And you know what that hating gets you? A highlight. Not your highlight. His highlight. All right. You going to be the dude that talks too much shit while you're down 28. And he decides we going to run this right through him at his chest. I'm going to grab his face and smush it. And you, Lamar Jackson, do you do you know how you end up being the dude in high school where Lamar stopped, looked at, let go by, and then tiptoed into the end zone on and then shrugged hey. afterwards? Because that was hating. He knew it was about to be the best day of Lamar's life. (laughs) He was out here trying to hate on it. Nah, I'm going to make sure. And now that man, that's his his football career. I don't care what he did after that. That's it. That's it. I'm the guy that Lamar Jackson, that's going to be in his bio. Like, it's state mandated. I'm the guy that Lamar Jackson embarrassed. Okay, we know you a certified hater. (laughs) Like... Certified hating. That's what it is.